Sounds like a good... Oh! Did everybody see that? That was disgusting. We've already talked about it. We've talked about the plumber's crack. I know, but the first way it was like presentational for your joke, that was a natural one. You actually just did that. No, they're all natural. They're all natural. So shocking when it happens. Like, crack get exposed like that. How'd it go with pumpkin? I carved that shit up. Okay. <laughs> he, by the way, he, he you know, oh, he, oh, he's still back there, I mean. Oh, no, he's yeah. good, he's good. He's ready to go, he's red. We'll go for round two in a second. All right, any Beer Fest fans out there? Beer Fest fans. A lot of people ask us where the idea for Beer Fest came from, right? And we're two guys from the Broken Lizard comedy group. We made the movie Super Troopers. And as we were promoting that movie, we were traveling around and we came up with the idea for Beer Fest. Yeah, because when Super Troopers came out, nobody knew who we were. And so Fox decided to send us around the country for six weeks on a tour bus doing free screenings of the movie and then after each screening, they would have an after party and they would pay for all this booze. And we would have to drink all the booze. And so we drank a lot of alcohol in that month and a half. <laughs> and uh, which was fine, except that then they decided to send us to Australia for two more weeks to promote the movie over there. Which was awesome because we had never been to Australia before, right? So it's a great opportunity. And so we're all excited. And right before we left, we get a phone call from the head of the Fox studio, like the head honcho guy. We're like, this is awesome. He's calling to wish us well, right? But that's not why he was calling. Instead, he said, hey, when you guys go over there, you better fucking behave yourselves. I don't want you guys over there acting like a bunch of idiots. And we're like, that's kind of a weird thing to say. He said, no, no, no. We got a nickname for Broken Lizard over here at Fox. We call you guys Drunken Lizard. And we're like, that's a pretty good nickname. That's a good nickname, man. Yeah. So there we are at JFK Airport in New York City, about to go to Australia. And we were excited because Fox was flying us first class, and none of us had ever flown first class. And so we got on that plane, and we were like, holy shit, look at the size of these fucking seats here. Look at this. Like, like my feet didn't even hit the floor with these seats. <laughs> right? It was like the first airplane seat that I could fit in, you know? And I was like, holy shit, look at the size of that thing. Yeah, and then the flight attendant comes up to us, and she says, okay, uh, can I get you a cocktail? And I look around, and like, we're just boarding the plane, and I, and I say, uh, a cocktail for when? Because like, we're not even in the air yet. And she says, uh, boys, this is first class. You can do whatever you want in first class. <laughs> and I say, well, in that case, I'll have a Bloody Mary. And Kevin says, make that two. And she says, two Bloody Marys for each of you? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> awesome idea, that's yeah, an awesome that's idea. A good one. All right. So then we have like three or four drinks before group two even boards, right? <laughs> and by the time we're in the air, we're shit-faced. And first class is awesome. It's awesome. Like they bring you food, they bring you drinks, we're playing cards, they bring you a, a bowl of hot nuts, then they bring you this warm towel. Oh yeah, like you wash your face with that towel. Like you wash the hot nuts off your warm face for that thing. And it's great, and they're bringing us drinks, and we got a great rapport with the flight attendant. Everything is going great until we decided to do um, a fart contest. <laughs> yeah, which we thought it would be hilarious to like see who could stink up first class the most, which is like an awful idea, obviously, but like not because it's uncouth, uh, but because like you don't want to get into a fart competition with Kevin Heffernan. This guy, because like this guy, he, he brings it in fart competitions. You know, like this guy's like the Usain Bolt of fart competitions. And he's just ripping eye-watering fart after eye-watering fart. And this poor little unsuspecting flight attendant walked right into it. Like right into a cloud of green heffernan gas with her drink cart. And it hit her like a ton of bricks. Like she fucking gagged. She was like, oh! And she, she had to get out of there, but she couldn't go forward because the drink cart was there. And so she turned around to go behind her, but there was a dude like in the overhead bin. And so now she was just like a rat in a cage, just, you know. <laughs> and, and, and she's telling her partner, she's like, move the cart, move the cart. And they get the cart out of there and she gets out, but then she leans back in and she says, boys, you do not fart in first class. And Kevin looks at her with the drunkest expression I've ever seen on anybody's face and he says, I thought we could do whatever we wanted first class. 
at which point she cut us off, naturally. Which was okay, because we were already shit-faced. And at that point, one of the other broken lizard guys, Eric Stolhansky, he pulls out this gigantic bag of chocolate-covered pretzels. And we're fucked up, so we're like, yeah! And we ate the shit out of that bag of pretzels. Like, it was gone in seconds. And that's when Eric revealed that what he had done was he had melted that chocolate, and he had cooked pot into it. And then he coated the pretzels with that chocolate. He fucking dosed us. He thought it'd be hysterical to dose us for our 15 hour flight. What he didn't take into consideration was how fucked up we were at that point. So those pretzels just sent us into orbit. Right, they hit Lemmy first, because he's the littlest, right? And all of a sudden, he's incapacitated. Like, he can't, we're playing cards, he doesn't know what card to put down, you know? Well, I, I was very unique kind of fucked up, okay? I was like a chocolate pot-covered pretzel kind of fucked up. Where, like, I could understand everything that everybody was saying, and, and, uh, but I just couldn't speak or move. I had like a little bit of a Stephen Hawking thing going. You know, like, like really brilliant, but you can't move. Yeah. yeah. And I was, I was beginning to find God. Religion, because like I was praying to God to stop me from getting more fucked up. Because every five minutes, I would be way more fucked up than I was five minutes earlier. And frankly, I was freaking the fuck out. So then the meals come, right? And Lemmy can't move his arms to put the food in his mouth. And it's a pretty good meal. It's like a first class meal. It's like a steak, you know? And so what happened was uh, I ate my steak. And then when I was done, I ate his steak. <laughs> all the while looking him in the eyes on every bite. And trust me, you don't even know the meaning of the word frustration until you've had Officer Rob Farva eating your steak, looking you in your eye, and you can't fucking move to stop him. Yeah, I live with him, motherfuckers. <laughs> Luckily, I passed out, and uh, I woke up a few hours later, and then everybody on the plane was asleep. And uh, I, I got up and I went to the bathroom, and I actually ran into another member of Broken Lizard by the bathroom, a guy named Paul Soder. And uh, he was like in this weird state of mind. He, he was like shivering like, and I was like, what's up, dude? And he goes, I'm lost. <laughs> and I was like, we're on an airplane. What are you talking about? And he says, he says, I can't find my seat. And I was like, well, that's actually pretty simple. Like you look for the row of seats with your friends in them and they're gonna be a little empty one. <laughs> and that's where you go. <laughs> And he says, ooh, that's a great idea. <laughs> and he walked off in the wrong direction. <laughs> so finally we land in Australia and we're getting off the plane and we're still fucked up. We look like shit. And now we feel guilty because we're meeting the Fox people at the gate and here comes Drunken Lizard. Right, here we come. Now, what we didn't take into consideration was that we were now in Australia. And in Australia, everyone's fucked up. Everyone is always fucked up in Australia. Like, Australia is the drunk little cousin in the United States, you know, of the United States. We keep them off in the corner. They wear, like, overalls, no shoes. They have no manners. They're drunk. Nebraska. <laughs> anyway, and we're a little nervous to see these guys. You know, it's like, and, and, but they, Australian guys, they show up and one of them's carrying like a case of those Foster's oil can beers <laughs> under his arm and, and he's like, ah, oh, fucking drunken lizard, this is gonna be great. <laughs> and starts f chucking the fucking <laughs> beer cans at us. And we're catching him and that kicked off two weeks of the most drunken movie promoting we've ever done in our lives. They had us promoting the movie in bars. They had us promoting uh, in, uh, on booze cruises. We did an early morning television talk show called Cocktail Hour with Nigel McSwiggins. <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning, we've got gin martinis getting fucked up in Australia. <laughs> then finally, this one morning, they pick us up at the hotel in a, in a van, and, and they 
say that, all right, guys, we got a great idea. We're going to take you to promote the movie The Beer Garden. And we say, oh, what now? And they say, a beer garden. Okay, a beer garden. Okay, okay. Which was much, it was more of a beer festival, right? We had the giant tents and the long tables, and there's hundreds of ruddy-faced Australians getting fucked up. Oh, yeah, like shark tooth necklaces and fucking, like, flinging boomerangs around. And so the Fox people pull us aside, and they said, all right, here's the deal. You're going to get up on stage. We're going to introduce the film. Then we're going to bring five guys out of the crowd. You're going to chug beers against them, and Bob's your uncle. Good on ya. <laughs> and we said, we're going to promote the movie by chugging beers? And they said, yeah. And we said, fucking awesome. <laughs> and we got up on the stage, and they introduced us as five Yanks who were here to chug beers against Australia. <laughs> and the place went fucking crazy. They immediately started yelling, like, anti-American shit at us. Yeah, and, like, like Aussie shit. Like, they started calling us poofters. Yeah, and like dingo fuckers. And then somebody from the crowd shouts out, hey, look, there's a kangaroo. And we all turn and look, and they all fucking laugh at us. <laughs> so now Lemmy's pissed off, right? So he grabs the microphone to quiet the crowd, and the crowd goes quiet. And he looks out over the crowd, and he goes, hey, Australia. Russell Crowe's a fucking dick! <laughs> Their reaction was very different than your reaction. <laughs> they started going fucking bananas, right? You don't fuck with Russell Crowe in Australia. So all of a sudden, five guys jump up on stage with us, and we start drinking. We start a boat race, and we're going head to head. And it's fucking thrilling, because right off the bat, we're winning for America. And we're winning, and it's fucking great. And then it's going great until all of a sudden one of the broken lizard guys screws up. One of our guys snarfed his beer all over the place. And I'm not going to tell you which guy it was. Paul Soder. We said we weren't going to say who it was. Soder, you don't want them to think it's you, Soder. All right, so Paul Soder snarfs his beer all over the place. And in the meantime, the Australians win. Bang, 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 they win. And the place goes fucking bananas. Yeah, mayhem, mayhem, and, th and they want to humiliate us and pour it on, and so now they challenge us to a game of flip cup, and we accepted that challenge, and we kicked their fucking asses. <laughs> For America! <laughs> but now it was on, now the drinking contest began, and we played every drinking game you can think of. We played quarters, we played beer pong, one after the other, and at the end of it all, the score was tied, and we needed a tiebreaker, and nobody, nobody knew what to do until this one fellow stepped forward holding two of those giant glass boots full of beer, and he handed one to Heffernan, and he said, that's for you, mate. And then he turned with the other one to the rest of the crowd, and he said, now who wants him? And they went fucking berserk. Everybody, they're like, he's mine, he's mine, he's mine like a bunch of fucking pirates. <laughs> and this one dude stepped forward from the back of the crowd, and I, this dude was one gigantic motherfucker. <laughs> Six foot eight, 300 pounds, shaved head, tank top, I shit you not, tattooed across his chest was the word Alcasaurus with a tattoo of a T-Rex with little teeny arms holding two giant mugs of beer. <laughs> this is not a joke. And he towered over Heffernan. Like, he could have eaten Heffernan in one bite. And so now the crowd's, like, chanting. They're like, Alcasaurus! Alcasaurus! And I'm like, holy shit, the honor of America is on the line here. And so we start the boot contest, and I will not lie to you, Alcasaurus was kicking my ass. He was kicking my ass. And I saw him drink that boot, 
And as he's drinking, I look up and I see the bubble start to form in the heel of his boot, right? Your bubble, right? And so the bubble all of a sudden swings around the heel and starts towards his face. Now, I've had enough boots in my day that I know the trick, right? That you have to spin that boot to dissolve the bubble or else it's gonna explode in your face, right? And apparently, Alcasaurus did not know that trick. And so the, bu the bubble hits him and the bubble explodes and his beard goes everywhere. In the meantime, I finish my boot and I win for America. And the crowd goes silent. And in that silence, Lemmy steps forward and he says, Hey, Crocodile Dundee sucks kangaroo cock! <laughs> and then all fucking hell broke loose. Yeah, they went nuts. Uh, like, punches started being thrown. Fights were breaking out, and Fox now had to whisk us away to the van, and the Australians were rocking the van and throwing bottles at the van but we made it out of there safely. Yep. We got back to the States, and the first meeting we found ourselves in was with the head of the Fox studio. And he's like, what the fuck? I told you to behave yourselves, and you guys start a riot at a beer garden? We're like, dude, you put us in that situation. We were defending the honor of America. But we have an idea for a new movie. And so we pitched the guy the idea for Beer Fest, and when we were done, he said, no one is gonna wanna see a movie about an international beer drinking competition. The only person who will see that movie are drunks and stoners. Yeah. And he was right, he was right. Thank you guys, I'm done. I'm gonna leave you with Lemmy. You guys have been great, I appreciate it.